Hello and uh, welcome to Scratch V8. In this uh, short tutorial I'd like to show you uh, different things. The first thing is how uh, you can start working on the in color grading using the three stripes process, quite similar to the Technicolor process where three black and white stripes were used to pass the cyan, magenta and yellow. And the second thing is also this occasion to start playing with the blending modes available in Scratch. So the first thing to do here is enter the player. So this is a red footage, as you can see here. So it's an RGB image. I'm going to add a version. We will refer to it later on. And what I want to do is replace the RGB with the cyan, magenta, and yellow, basically by the complete complementary colors. Excuse me. So to do so, I need to create three layers. Okay, one for the cyan, one for the magenta, and one for the yellow. So just to be sure that we know what we're talking about, I'm going to rename those. So that's going to be my cyan. Here we go. Second one's going to be my magenta. And the third one's going to be my yellow. It's a very simple process. So let's start by the beginning. Cyan. OK, so cyan should replace the red, right? It's a complementary color. So to do this, I'm selecting the layer, go down to the texture mode, and here you can see I have front and matte tabs. And for each, I have RGB and alpha channels available. So that means I can directly convert any channel. So I'm going to go to matte and use the red channel. Okay, and the red channel is passed into the matte. I'm going to invert it. And now navigate to my levels. So to replace the red channel by cyan, I need to remove the red and maintain green and blue. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Now, if we go to magenta, I'm going to do the same. I go to texture, matte, I select the green channel, invert it, go back to levels, and this time I'm removing the green. Right. Now, this is a little bit strong, right? So what is interesting is that if I go at the top of my layers list, I have front and matte as well. And here I can go to front and I can see my blending modes. So here I can find all the blending modes available in Scratch and I can navigate down to color. Okay, that starts giving me a look, a kind of a overpass, uh, old Dectachrome stuff. Now let's go to yellow. So for yellow, I'm going to select the blue channel, invert it, and the same way, go to Labels and remove the blue. And now I have something which is interesting. Okay, so at any time you can compare with the image with and without, okay, before and after. So I can, I can decide that I'm happy with that right now, or I can keep on working on that. But again, this is a very basic setup that you can enhance by yourself, okay, you can tweak a little bit. Let's say I want to change a little bit the magenta here. Okay, push it a little, a little bit more and so on. Now I can add another version. Okay, and keep on working while uh, maintaining the setup I just did, just using the blending mode. So I'm going to go back to my blending mode and here, as an example, switch from normal to screen and see what it looks like. Now, same for magenta, switch to screen. It's a bit tough. So because it's a bit uh, hard, I want to play with the recursive mode here. So I'm going to turn this off so I have something more soft. And now I have a kind of look that makes me think about an old Polaroid uh, uh, effect, you see? So it's very, very simple. Again, just using a very simple stuff like adding a new layer, maybe doing a luminance key, uh, using a preset on the shadows. Let's tweak it a little bit. Okay, like this, I just want to lift a little bit the low lights. Okay, so go here and push this up a little bit, little bit up. So you see, it's very, very quick. So again, in a, in, in a few minutes, we just did two totally different looks that of course I can add to my gallery. Okay, and keep in my collection. So let's select this one, add it. Here we go. And the previous one, add this as well. Now let's give them a name. So this one's going to be my vintage 
number three, and the previous one is going to be my uh, Polaroid stuff. Here we go. So, done. I mean, I now have these two loops that I can use anywhere uh, onto any other shot or into any other project. Okay? So, please feel free to start working a little bit with the blending mode. It's very interesting. And in the meantime, uh, thank you again and bye bye.